Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys had some great holidays. But today, we I would like to play with this, uh, oh gosh, Alamar Cosmetics <laughs> palette. It's the Reina del Caribe. Oh god, that sounds terrible. I'm so sorry. I'm butchering that. Reina del Caribe. I'm going to say it like that. But it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to be playing with this like turquoisey blue shade right here. Uh, we're going to start with the eyes because um, I think this has a little bit of fallout and in order to avoid any type of fallout mixing with foundation in that crisis, I decided to do the eyes first. So we're going to start, or I'm going to start with my um, Mika Cosmetic or Beauty Cosmetics eye primer that I usually use. Uh, if I'm in a rush, I will use concealer as my eye primer. Um, I just, now that I'm not in a rush, I like, this actually, this really does make it pop more. Okay, so I'm going to use a packing brush to put this color on my eye. I'm going to use, oh god, I hope it didn't just get black on it. Okay, I'm going to use this little packing brush. I think, I'm pretty sure it's a Morphe brush. It's in one of those packs, brush packs. And I'm going to pick up that turquoise color, and the color of that is called Celia. And I didn't, I didn't put, oh my gosh, isn't that gorgeous? Okay, yeah. That is why I didn't put any type of setting on top of the primer. We're just going to continue to build this up and make sure it's nice. And this is going to be like one of those va va voom looks that really doesn't take that much time because you're only using like two or three shades. So I actually am blending this up a little bit with a non-blending brush. Take a little bit more on the edge here, kind of round out, there we go. Okay, so I have successfully shadowed the other eye. I'm going to take this little cute fluff brush that I got in an eyeshadow, like a pack of eyeshadow brushes from a BoxyCharm box actually, and I'm going to take the uh, this like real pretty champagne color called L, oh gosh, Menaçon, Menaçon, whatever. I'm taking that. It is a shimmery color, but I'm going to put that above the blue here. Um, and this is like a, a blending brush, so it shouldn't be too, too crazy. And I'm going very lightly. I just want to, oh yeah, I like how that looks. I like it. I'm gonna hurry up and do it on this side because I don't really feel like turning off the camera. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do my face makeup real quick off camera and then my brows and then um, finish my eye makeup. Okay, so I'm gonna be right back. Alright, so as you can tell I have my face done and uh, eyebrows and let's ignore the side of my nose because I used a I used the fluffy brush like one of these to contour my nose ah, but I did not realize that the damn thing had green on it so I mm, there's a little green on my nose I got I got some of it off but there is green on my nose and that is what's wrong excuse me so Right now we're going to finish up the eyes, and I actually would like to, let me see, where is that, here we go. I'm going to use the uh, Shimmery Light Shade, Break Free and Nocturnal. I'm going to use these two shades from the Nightingale palette from Pretty Vulgar. Um, I don't know if y'all know about that brand, it's a newish brand. It's been in Sephora for, I think a year or two relatively new. I'm just going to put that underneath the uh, brow bone to kind of just 
continue that fade up and then I want to put it in my tear duct, this right here, to brighten up the corners. Mostly more of the shimmery shade than the matte shade because there is, it's like a matte and a shimmer shade and I mix them together. But I want mostly the shimmer shade in that corner. Real bright black. Okay. And I'm going to take the, uh, no, 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 I don't want to take that. Do I want I want the slightest amount of blue, this whatever, the turquoise under my eye. So I'm going to real close to the eyes, put some of that depth in there. Just kind of bring it around the eyes, oh yes, that color is so pretty. Like even blend it out, it's gorgeous, I got powder in my eye. Okay, I'm going to take a different little flat shading brush and I'm going to use the like champagne color that I put above the blue. And I'm going to put that underneath the blue. It's an icy champagne. It looks real champagne -y in the in the pan. So I want it to kind of like fade into my skin through yeah, the sparkle. So I'm going to kind of go back and forth between those two shades until I get the look I like. This look needs lashes. I'm doing lashes today. Okay. Alright, I'm going to put on some mascara and then lashes, and I'm not going to film the lashes because I'm absolutely terrible at putting on lashes. Um, that is something that I have to practice doing before I confidently put them on on camera. Like, I could never do a tutorial of putting on lashes right now. I didn't do it. Okay. Okay. Much better. Okay, so I'm going to pop on the mascara, which is It Cosmetics Superhero Black Mascara. Put this on real quick, and then I'm going to, man, attempt these lashes, and I'll tell you what lashes I'm using. This mascara, though, by itself is gorgeous. I just feel like I need just a little bit more... Va va to my boom. All right, a little bit of support to lay the lash on, and I'll see y'all in a second. All right, guys, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoy it. What is on my lips is a CoverGirl liquid lipstick or melted melting pout liquid lipstick in Evangelical. And then I topped it off with a Smashbox Be Legendary liquid metal uh, liquid thing in uh, Petal Metal. And I gave it this nice like sheen on my lips, making them look all nice and full. And then I put the, where'd they go? I think it's these. No. I push the lash. I push, push. I put the Lashaholic Luxury Lashes in the. Uh, what style are they? Does it tell me? It doesn't tell me what the style is. Interesting. But these are. They're really pretty. They're very. These are like party lashes. Um. But I thought they added to the look, and uh, this is the packaging for them. But it doesn't have their, you know, type, their style name. That's what it is. Okay, so what else? Um, oh, and then I just used some black eyeliner and tightlined my uh, eyes just to kind of like really 
bring the look together. What else did I do? Oh, I need the highlight. Okay, that's going to be the last thing. I can't believe I almost forgot highlight. Okay, so I'm going to use the uh, Champagne Pop from uh, Becca Cosmetics' Jaclyn Hills Highlighter. And I'm going to take the Tapered Highlighter from Luxie 522 and just load her up. Mm -hmm. Champagne Pop might be like the perfect highlighter for this that I have for this look. It just complements all the shimmers. And I did use a, uh, like a banana powder underneath my eyes. Um, to brighten them up a little bit. It's hot in here, sorry. I'm going to put a little right there. All right. Okay. All right, guys. So this is the finished look. I love these glasses from Zenny Optical because they're like really wide and they allow my eye look to like really do its thing, you know. And I can actually. The only thing I don't like is I can't really wear big uh, lashes without the glasses catching my lashes all the time. But whatever. We'll get over that. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel and you would like to be, go ahead and hit go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell so that you know when I am posting. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and yeah, leave a comment down below about any type of request that you have. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.